Playwright 153 is out and it comes with a minor but super nice update for the Trace Viewer, HTML Reporter and UI mode. So let's have a look. I'm here in VS Code and what you see here is the classical to-do MVC example that you get when you initialize a new Playwright project. Let's run these tests by calling npx playwright test dash dash UI to look at them in UI mode. And here we go. Let's pick the first test one and see what we get. Here we have now all the actions that are taken. And I've never realized it, but this list of actions and assertions is actually fairly hard to read. And this is where the new update comes in. Let me quickly head over to my package JSON and update the Playwright version to use 153 and latest and reinstall what we have in our node modules. I have a little short snippet here, npm reset, that cleans up the node modules and all the good stuff. So when this now is done, we can kick off UI mode again and let's see what we get. Here we go. So let's rerun our first test and here we see it already. Everything is just nicer formatted and the actions and assertions are just nicer to read. But that's not all. Playwright locators come now with a new method to add additional information to your trace viewer or HTML reports. You might have run into situations when you look at a locator in your reports or UI mode and you're not necessarily sure what this locator is targeting. With the new describe method, we can now go in here and we can say, hey, this locator here, get by placeholder, is actually the main to do input. And I think this is pretty nice. How does it look like? When we now rerun our test case with the adjusted locator, we now have here the information that this fill happened on the main to-do input. And it's a minor thing, but I think this is just very valuable when you're dealing with longer and complicated locators. And the same locator information is then available in the HTML report too. So when we now call npx playwright test and we call npx playwright show report after, so let's have a look. Here we go. This now takes a moment, but luckily the tests are super quick. Let's open the report. Here we go. Let's check our first test case. Here we have our main to do input label for this locator. And even if we now open up the trace viewer, here we have the trace view, which then also includes this updated view of these actions and our new locator label. And it might look like a minor thing, but I'm always up for some eye candy. And I think this just is easier to read and helps out when you're debugging flaky or failing test cases. So if you haven't updated Playwright in a while, it's always good to stay up to date.